Hello everyone and happy Mother's Day if you're celebrating Mother's Day and if not, happy Sunday and as you can see, Nala is in a pamper and what does that mean, Nala? It's her first day of heat. It is Nala's first day of heat, isn't it? But that's why she has a pamper on and the girls are here uh, making sure she's okay. Yeah, your girls are here. So that is how she's going to be spending her Mother's Day today now, just resting, relaxing while she's in her heat. Hey, Miss Princess. Yeah. Hey, pretty girl. I know Nala. I know Nala B. You're in your bed. You just rest and relax, okay? We love you. Just rest and relax today where it is your first day of heat, okay? Hello everyone, we are now outside and just some indicators about Nala and her heat and how she is now in day one of her heat cycle. Now a cycle is like a girl's time where it is more than just the few days stated, but I'm just indicating day one as in day one of her heat cycle in regards to her becoming pregnant and when bleeding started and occurred. But again, the indicator so far that she's showing is her vulva has expanded and enlarged in size. She is bleeding now as well. Kena is hovering her a lot, which she normally does. If you watched the other heat cycle video from last year, he does the same thing. He's very protective over her and he, he smells her area a nice bit. Dodger hasn't really been paying much heed to Nala, which I'm really grateful about. I'm still keeping an eye on him because he's still a male, and he is now of age of sexual maturity, so I definitely want to still keep an eye on it, but as of so far, he hasn't really been paying no attention to her or anything like that or wanting to initiate anything. Like I said, Kina has been hovering around her, sniffing her area. She's still her playful self. That hasn't changed. Her temperament hasn't changed. So that's still the same. It's not a 100% sign of upset stomach if your dog is eating grass. It could be a number of factors. And right now, she is in our heat and has started. So the only time that I've noticed that she does that where she kind of picks at grass, she doesn't even really eat it. She just pulls at it a bit. And she normally just does that, like I said, when in heat. So it's probably just where her hormones and everything are changing. Oh my goodness. You have the poker stick, guys. You have the poker stick, girls. That's for daddy for poking the fire with. Oh my, what do you got now with the ball? But everything else, like I said, has pretty well stayed the same with her. She's still very playful, and like I said, her temperament's still the same. Keen eyes hovering around, being very protective. He isn't initiating anything yet, he's just following her around. Hey, and being a protective husband. Yeah. Let me kick the ball. Dodger's up on his roof. Ariel's <laughs> down in the sandbox digging. Yeah, there he goes. Following her around and sniffing, and she'll sit when she wants him to stop, and he'll back off and leave her alone. But at the very beginning of heat, that's what they do. They'll continue to sit because they're not ready. Hey, say I'm not ready for anything right now. <coughs> okay, she say kick the ball, stop talking, kick the ball. There you go. <laughs> Touch. Her. But if you haven't seen our older videos. Dodger, he is one of her kiddos from litter number two. These are the three girls from litter number one. Right there is Kenai. And he is a Siberian Husky, and that is the one that's been mating with Miss Nala. Hey, Nala. But everything is looking well. Nala does have, our dogs do have two vets. And we brought her to the vet any time that she's about to go into heat, during heat, if she becomes pregnant, after pregnancy, during pregnancy, all that stuff. Her vet is pretty much on speed dial. See, there you, she goes. She's licking another indicator. Not sure if I mentioned it already or not. That she is in heat. She's just steady cleaning her area and stuff. Hey, Miss Nala. But they'll do that a lot if in heat. Hey, girly. Yeah. But no, she got the green light that everything looks good and okay for her to, if it shall occur and pregnancy occurs, that everything seems good and healthy with her and safe. And same with Kenai. Hey guys. 
Hey, you two. <laughs> Look at the view. Now, Nala is a shepherdor, but she's like borderline, our vet said. She's shepherdor, but more German shepherd than the Labrador. Her mother, both parents of her mother were German shepherd. Her mom is German shepherd. And Nala's daddy, father, he was a German shepherd with Lab because his parents, one was a German shepherd and one was a Labrador retriever. So that's where Nala gets her little bit of Lab. Hey, hey Nala, that's where you get your little bit of Lab. But she's mainly German shepherd and even the vet said that doing her genetic testing, the majority of her is German Shepherd. She just got a slight bit of lab, so she's borderline German Shepherd, but we refer to her as a Shepherd or and notify people as Shepherd or so they do know when it is indicated that there is some lab in her. Hey, Nala. See, I'm not 100% German Shepherd, no. See, no, I'm not. That's okay. It's my pretty girl. Everything is healthy. Everything's fine. <laughs> she's like, kicked up ball. There you go, girly. And everything's 100% fine with her. Sitting down again now, are you? Don't forget to give her some space, Kina, when she sits down, okay? Careful, girls. <laughs> Trying to get your sister Dodger. Careful. You're starting to shed your coat, Miss Layla. Oh. <laughs> starting to shed your coat. Today's Sunday, too. You all got to get your brush done. Probably do that after. I won't film that. you already seen me brush them. I'll probably film it in a later, later video. But it's literally just me brushing each of them. <laughs> oh, the neighbor's back. <laughs> 